channel hope you're all well today's video as you can tell by the title we'll be doing a demo slash review on the banish acne scars starter kit so the company banish was lovely enough to send me their own starter kit i will link all below what i've used the their website etc all below for you so you can go check it out so it's basically a uh, whole kit to get rid of any acne, um, helps skin pe pigmentation, um, helps with fine lines, stuff like that. Obviously my skin isn't as bad as some people but it's also not the best so um, any skincare I can review I am all for it. I will zoom in and show you everything up close and personal. Oh, up close here I have got quite a bit of scarring um, where I used to pick spots when I was younger, dark circles here. I do suffer with um, enlarged pores and blackheads here. And then my forehead, again, is fine lines because I haven't had any more Botox since I had it last year. And I do get in my T-zone um, blackheads and pimples here because I think that's like my main area that I sweat in. So let's show you the products that I got. So the first thing that I'm going to show you because I've just got out the freezer, the Banish Pore Smasher. Banishes puffness, redness and enlarged pores. So that's one thing that I definitely need and it comes in a box like this. And then this one is the, the roller that you roll on your skin and really up close it's got fine needles just ever so finely just to break that skin ever so slightly so it will um, boost collagen to grow which will help with any fine lines and just to help with skin pigmentation and then this one is the Banish pen this is if any spots come up you literally put this straight onto it and it's supposed to help it straight overnight those fine needles just ever so slightly and that's basically you apply that to a spot that comes up so you're basically damaging your skin to help it repair itself quicker and then you also get in the starter kit a little pouch which is really handy for traveling and you get a vitamin c elixir spray and this is an activated charcoal clay mask this is a pumpkin enzyme mask and then this is the oil so this is the banish oil Also get given a little tub so for traveling with your little case also all their product lines are cruelty free so if you wanted to know that that is also a good plus to grab these I am already confused on how to use it and what routine to use it in first you get instructions but it's not very clear I don't know if it's like a placebo effect but it definitely feels really soft and I just feel like brighter so the next step is the pore smasher so this has been in the freezer and it is still freezing cold so you just go all around 
down your face in different directions. It's squeaky. itself and remember to clean this after every time you use it and you just want to go in one area for about 10 seconds and then move to a different direction <laughs> with god knows how many little pins on here like i said it's not painful it's literally just opening up the surface of the skin just to bring the collagen out and it just helps with skin repair it just helps it speed along shall we say and this poor smasher obviously it's been in the freezer so that goes on first to numb the skin, I think that's the idea. Don't be alarmed, I would say, if you come up all red, because I definitely have everywhere. I think that is literally because you're poking and prodding yourself with this um also after you use it just make sure you run it under water and just wash it off so um, the next time you use it any bacteria from today's use won't go on to you next time so next step is the banish oil and um i would say wash your hands before use because obviously you're dripping it onto your hands and then put it on your face that we've just opened all the pores up so do make sure that you've washed your hands for this and then just a few drops onto your hand rub together and then just rub it into your skin. sensitive skin so I feel that if you have sensitive skin um, definitely don't do this in the morning or before you're going out anywhere definitely do it before you go to bed um, because otherwise you will be looking um, like a beetroot and you won't want to go anywhere um, but I think that is literally just it working um, I'm not alarmed by it at all so the last but not least step is the elixir spray so let's just spray that all over and let that dry in so this is just a close up so I don't have sensitive skin at all and you can see obviously the redness that it causes so definitely do it before bedtime um, this is after night one on monday so that's it for night one of the routine while i had the charcoal mask on i did some research and i found a weekly routine that um the banishers starter kit like recommends to use <laughs> scars skincare and on today's schedule i will put somewhere here it says serum elixir and pore smasher so we will have to put the oil on first 
Again, with clean hands, I've made sure I've cleaned my hands. I've just come out the shower. So once that's all dried in, it then says to get the elixir, elixir spray and spray all over. Okay, let that dry. And then it says to go along with the pore smasher. So again, I put this in the freezer this morning. So it is nice and frozen and squeaky. And then I'm just gonna go all the way around. Okay, so it is Wednesday, day three of my review on Banish Acne Scars Skincare. And I wasn't going to film, obviously, today because it was the same as yesterday, but something has popped up um, because it's nearly close to my lady time. Um, I come up in some spots, so I thought it'd be a great time to test out the Banish pen um, that is in the kit. So I will do the same as yesterday, but just use the pen. So it's worked out quite well. Not that I've got spots, but it's worked out well that it's popped up. So I had one pop up here. Nice little white head there. And then here, one's popped up. And this one on my cheek is slowly getting redder. So I think I'm going to sort that one out as well. So the schedule um, that I've been using says Serum Alexa Pore Smasher. So because these have popped up, what I'll do is I'll do the serum, use this, so then it will let the oil go into the pore, Alex Alexa spray, and then go with the pore smasher to close the pore. That's what I'm going to do. So with the Banish Pen, it literally just looks like this. And on the end, like I've shown you before, it's got those needles there. So it's literally just to press onto the spot. Like that. That's all you have to do. Make sure you clean it after. And then go with the Vitamin C Beauty Elixir. So it's Thursday, which is day four of my skincare review. And today we will be trying out the Anish Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. And it just says paint thin layer, let dry and wash off. So that's what we are going to do first. I have smelt it and uh, I'm not a fan. And it looks like baby food. Baby food. spots here um, so let's dry and then I will wash it off saves putting bacteria onto open pores. My skin feels really smooth after it. I personally don't like that smell of a face mask. If you grab your Banish oil and again on clean hands just a few dots and then pat it on to the skin. And then after you've put your oil on, then you want to go over with your pore smasher. So I just grabbed it out the freezer. So again, just go along 
in different spots back and forth for about 10 seconds and then change areas. It does say that that is the last step but I do feel like I'm getting quite dry here. I'm just going to pop on some of the elixir spray just for extra hydration and you can put this on anytime, anywhere. It's just for the extra hydration for your skin. I'm just going to let that soak in and then I'm done for day four. So for the next three days, the schedule says to do a serum, which is the oil and the elixir, which is the vitamin C beauty spray and then the pore smasher uh, for the next three days. So I will probably just go straight in with my thoughts after my first week using the Banisher kit. Hey guys, so it's been a week since I've been using the Anisha Starter Kit. This is just going to be my final thoughts after using it for a week. I can notice a difference personally because I know my skin, I know how my makeup looks, um, but I will zoom in and show you what I'm working with now. So I've got nothing on, I've just showered ready for work and as you can see my skin the redness has definitely gone. My large pores that I said about here have like minimalized definitely I feel and even my like dark circles under my eyes have like gone. Fine lines here I definitely feel like they've reduced a little bit since using the banisher itself. Early in the week I had a spot here and um, that's definitely just faded away and normally my spots last for ages so I'm really pleased that that literally clears up in the amount of days. My face just feels to me glowy, hydrated, um, it definitely has given me like um, a natural highlight so I'm not wearing a highlighter every day which is what I used to do. Like I said the darkness around my eyes have seemed to have gone, my pores have definitely reduced in size, banishers definitely helped with my fine lines here and considering normally a week before or the week during my period I come out in um, hormonal like cyst spots, nothing like that. I haven't had anything at all really minus that whitehead that I showed you earlier in the week and a few like sweat pimples here but I think that's just because of the hot weather. So yeah I'm really impressed considering I've used it probably at my worst time for my skin um, during the month. So it's definitely prevented any spots coming up and this is only a week using it so um, I think if I keep using it and definitely keep it up it's going to only get better for sure. All the products in the starter kit are definitely recommend for sure. The only thing personally that I didn't like very much was the um, pumpkin mask um, just because purely I don't like the smell of um, cinnamon or pumpkin um, so that was a bit... I don't have any negative feedback from the products themselves. The only negative I can give or some constructive criticism which I would personally have appreciated. If anyone is like me and they get super excited and they see skincare it's definitely like gonna help your skin. You're so excited to use it that I felt like when I had it all here it just got a bit confusing and you're a bit like okay what do I what do I do with it? So instead of saving time on researching on the internet and watching YouTube videos, I definitely feel like there should be just a routine or like a schedule just to tick or just to keep looking at for your first week until you get the routine of it. Because I'm very organised, I have to be in a routine, I have to do it how it says. That's my only critique, is just a little bit of help there, just to save people researching about it, because I know I get so excited, I just want to get in straight away done. So if it's there, black and white, right, Monday, use this, done. Kind of like the picture that I've been using, if they had that just like on a tiny leaflet. But like I said, this is only a week, so it can only get better.
better so I will carry on using it and you'll hopefully see my, my skin get better and better in future videos. So I hope you've enjoyed this review and it's given you some insight on the Banisher Starter Kit. I will link everything below that I've used, their website, their Instagram, etc. I have used a lot of skincare, so I definitely recommend this. I've used Liz Earl, I've used Proactive, I've used Alpha H, etc. And um, I felt just even the first week of using it, it made me break out even more than what I had before. So 100% recommend uh, this brand, these products. Um, 100%. So I hope you've enjoyed this one and found it useful. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel before you leave and I will see you next time. Bye!